Greetings, Commanders. Today we're going to be going over how to save and bulletproof your Elite Dangerous Keybinds so updates don't wipe them. We will have in the description down below this code, but if you click Win R, you can automatically run a command which will find your key bindings folder, or you can physically go to User Local Frontier Developments Elite Dangerous Options and Bindings, but doing the Win R option is just much quicker. Now, from here you can copy your custom bindings, so copy your newest one or copy all of them. You can have an infinite amount of bindings inside this game. Paste it inside the folder. All right, so you copy your bindings and there's a couple different options here. So if you go through the properties and we're going to name it incorrectly this first time. So we'll do, don't do this. You're going to notice if you change the file extension, the file may become unusable. We're going to click okay. And you're going to notice that it goes from the bindings file type to just a normal file. But as soon as you add in the dot binds at the end, then it becomes a binds file. So you need the dot binds or else it's not going to work. Now, option number two of renaming your bindings, if you right click and then just do the rename, notice it's going to keep the dot binds by default. Now, after you name the file type, you need to actually enter inside of it. You can just do that by the default notepad, that'll work. And from here, the game is going to read this as custom regardless. So we're going to need to name it the same thing that we named our file. And that way you see your actual name that you created inside the game. And then be sure to save it. To do that, just click file and then you go to save. Now our start preset four is a newer date. So this is the one that we're going to care about. So we're going to double click this and open it up. And it's going to say keyboard and mouse only. We are going to name it to whatever we actually want the game to be loading. If you want it to automatically load on default, call it whatever we started with. So for example, that'll be fly safe underscore zero seven. And then click file save. That means it's automatically going to open up the fly safe 07. Now, to make sure that we don't lose any of this in the future, we can back it up inside of a different folder inside of our computer. So you want to copy all of your bindings and then you also want to copy your start preset and then paste it into any folder that you want to inside of your computer for backups. Now that's it, Commanders. You named your presets a default loader and a backup. Updates won't nuke your HOTUS anymore. Fly safe out there. Now, just for a quick troubleshooting guide, if this doesn't actually show, file extension must be a dot binds folder. If it says dot txt, it's not going to work. Preset name in the XML must match what you expect to see in game. The start preset first line must match your preset name exactly. No special characters in the file name, so stick to letters, numbers, and underscores. Hotus connect before launch prevents the new device ID. If you accidentally disconnect it, you might have to redo this again. Reselect the preset once in the controls after the changes. And as long as you did it correctly, you should notice that all your key bindings are going to be listed inside. If you didn't actually name them yourself, it's still going to be showing custom. So it's not going to be showing all your different key bindings. If this guide helped you out, commanders, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and follow for more Elite Dangerous tips and tricks.